We're here today on the Pulse of Daytona, and I'm standing at DME Sports Academy. Now that name belies the tentacles that this company has throughout Daytona Beach and even across Volusia County. I'm standing today with Mr. Mike Panaggio. He is the principal of DME. Welcome to uh, the Pulse of Daytona, Mr. Panaggio. It's good to have you on the Thank program. You, Reverend Durham. I'm, um, I'm thrilled to be here today. And uh, of course, this is where I am every day. So you're so, thrilled to hear it. I am thrilled. Uh, tell us a little bit about the history of DME. How, how did you get started? Well, DME has been around for a long time. First of all, I now consider myself a Daytona resident. All right. Even though I'm from Rochester, New York, came down in 1981 and established DME in 1982. And uh, as a sophisticated high-end marketing company. And over the years, as we've developed and done well, I really have moved back to my roots, which has been sports. My dad was a basketball coach for 45 years, and I believe that I'm here today because of the training and the philosophies that force that sports offers, you know, a young man like myself. And I think that we want to give back for the community. And one of the things we feel we can give back with is sports. Mm -hmm. Got to keep it interesting. Well, you are here in Daytona Beach. So what is it that makes uh, Daytona Beach unique? Why uh, was it important to you to start and grow your business right here at the world's most famous beach? Well, I don't think it had anything to do with the beach, but the fact is that it's just a great place. A lot of great people here. Um, we enjoy certainly the weather, the ability to be outside. And it's just a type of environment that just really is enticing for sports. Mm -hmm. And that's always been a big interest for me. And you know, when, when you talk about sports, one of the things that I find unique about your business is you cross over not just to the, 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 the thing that we see behind us now with them playing basketball, but then you get them in the classroom and you, you get some academics, uh, some academic training that a lot of these kids really need. Well, really we have two entities. We've got DME Sports, which is all our sports, from soccer to lacrosse to hockey to figure skating to football. And then we've got our academy sports, which is, of course, what you see here, basketball. We've got about 80 kids participating in our academy here, and we've got about 50 kids participating in our hockey academy. Our school is brand new. Um, it's in a collaboration with Daytona State. And we believe that we can offer a pretty good education um, and utilize the, the passion the kids have for sports and use that as the catalyst to roll right into the academic side. And as I said at the opening, the tentacles of DME uh, go beyond just what we see behind us here with the kids practicing. You now, your company has now have, has a major interest in the um, arena that we have, the, the stadium. So tell us a little bit about your vision for Daytona Stadium. Well, Daytona Stadium was, I, I owe a lot to the city of Daytona Beach for having the openness and the forethought to get a private group like DME involved. Um, we are truly Daytona people. We, the, the stadium has been renamed to Daytona Stadium. It uh, goes along with, right now we're in the Daytona Field House, and we've got the Daytona Ice Arena. Everything we do is Daytona. Great place to grow up, great place to live, great place to play um, sports, and a great place to go to school. Well, as I said, you're here on the Pulse of Daytona, and Mr. Mike Panaggio has given us a great overview of DME, what they've done in our community, and what they're going to continue to do. The future looks bright with uh, this company now handling the stadium operations and their great vision for our stadium. We're looking forward to some great things with them, and I know you will be too. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.